we are doing this morning is driving through the mud and trying to tell stories to each other about how comfortable we were yesterday evening, aren't we, David? Yes. And on that termite mound, there is a black-breasted snake eagle. Why it is standing on a termite mound is, uh, well, not known to me. I can't imagine why it would want to sit on a termite mound, but there we are. Now, over the top of the black-breasted snake eagle, and a little to the right, there is a great conflagration and gathering of people, which indicates some kind of action, so we're going to head that way. And there they all are. There are also some elephants. And then, oh, just to the right of us, we've got two Grants gazelles, ladies, Lady Grants, and a mis or hyena hitting sort of through the grasslands beyond them. Tammy, sorry, I do apologise. You've had to listen to Rebecca talking in my ears because, well, you know, she's quite loud sometimes. Rebecca, and uh, not Rebecca, Tammy, uh, you want to know about which animals are more active in the spring versus the winter? Uh, none, I'd say. You know, the uh, the spring here is very different from the spring that they're going to have in South Africa. There's hardly any spring here because we're on the equator, and or pretty much on the equator. And so what that means is that basically the climate is pretty constant and so because it's so consistent it's very unlikely that we'll get much change at all now of course this is my first time to experience this kind of change of seasons in this area but yeah it's so consistent out here that i really don't think much is going to happen my earpiece is coming out that's why rebecca can hear herself talking all right let's continue along here what a beautiful morning it is yes